All right, everybody. Greetings and welcome to the rant of 2023. Looks like I'm about to delete some videos. I got about 50 minutes left on my memory cards. So anyway, uh, coming up here to Mud Creek, see if we see any ducks or anything. So I was watching TV during uh, New Year's weekend. You know, they had the Twilight episodes going on. That was pretty cool. You know, and I was kind of thinking, what were they, what were the, one of the main things that people were worried about back in the late 50s, early 60s, when they were making these, these episodes? And uh, if you notice, a lot of them had to do with space exploration. What could happen when you're in space? Just shooting down mud creep, see if there's anything cool to look at. In a lot of their episodes, they had this thing with them how scary space travel could be. Because at that time, we were playing around with space travel. You know, we're getting the first rockets to orbit, things like that. So that was something that they was entertaining and I truly think it was mostly meant for entertaining but I think they were trying to teach some lessons there so then we started watching some programs that I hadn't really seen on TV for a while now I don't think they went away but I think they got moved up to the forefront so one of the programs <coughs> were these law and order ones and as I'm watching these episodes between doing some things around the house and I noticed that they had a kind of a recurring theme. And I'm saying, why, why is this getting pushed to the front? Because I think everybody can agree that we don't feel like there's much law and order in our government anymore. There seems to be a rule for thee and not for not for me if you're the elite. You know, uh, we've got criminals getting arrested and, and walking out the, the same day. Uh, criminals doing bad things that have a arrest record of 10 to 20 times prior. Why are they still out in the street? Why are they allowing this chaos to, to keep continuing? Well, if you watch TV... It's not, because the programs at the end, for the most part, they overcome the chaos. You know, you can go back to bed. Everything's fine. There is law and order. Ignore what you're seeing on the internet. And we'll go on that internet thing here pretty quick, too. So, I view different news stations, not for very long. About 10, 15 minutes is all I need to, to kind of get where their uh, agenda is. And it is an agenda. You know, if they want to sit there and enforce rules against a certain right, they concentrate on the things that uh, agree with their message and they ignore the things that don't. You know, somebody uses a gun successfully in self-defense, it's barely mentioned. But if somebody uses a gun in shooting people, it's on there 24-7. Why is that? Well, just think of it this way. If I can make you fearful, and when I say I, as the government entity in charge, and then I can take away pretty much all your ability to defend yourself from that, I can control you. And then better yet, the programming is going to tell you that you want that. You want me to do that. You know, I'm the law and order. You want me to help you out. And folks, it's as far from the truth as can be. Young college kids, I'm sorry, boys and girls, you haven't lived yet. You've had a very sheltered life. 
and you're listening to professors that have had a very sheltered life. And you're thinking that having shelter is security. And nothing could be further from the, the truth. You need to question your professors. Especially when they are telling you how to think. That's not the job of a professor. The job of a professor is to provide you with information, raw data, empirical science and math. And answer questions to maybe guide you to a, a conclusion. But understand there's more than one conclusion. So the programs these days are distractions. You know, Teen Mom Reunion, Jersey Show Reunion, you know, uh, a lot of these reality shows. It's not a reality show when you put a camera in front of somebody, they're going to act a fool. You got to have Grandpa and Grandma Reunion, they're going to act a fool. There's a camera there. And we're watching those, and we're being distracted on what the world is becoming. Personally, I think we are at the beginning of the downfall of the United States of America. I think we've become too comfortable, and we want to protect that comfort, and we're willing to give up things that 50 years ago you never would have thought of. You know, the greater good. <laughs> There's a lot of programs out there. Pretty much telling you the greater good is not good. But the ones you see now, that's what got equity. Everybody gets the same thing. Well, that's not life. People are different, have different talents. All right. Just because I'm stronger than a lot of people doesn't make me better than them, but that doesn't make them equal to me. Him where I'm good at, and nor, nor should they be. All right, I put a lot of time and effort in that. All right, so I can lift more than most people. I know people can write great books. I know people have great singing voices. You know, people that have better organizational skills. People that can run faster, run further, jump higher. You know, and we're trying to make everybody a cookie cutter. We can't. I've seen a commercial, one of the new ones, it's saying stop, you know, Jewish hate, stop black hate, stop American Indian hate, stop gay hate, stop this hate. And they mention everything but me. Nowhere in there did it say stop white hate. If you don't think there's people that are out there that hate us because of my color of your skin, you're living in a bubble. And it is just as wrong as people who hate other people because of the color of their skin or their personal choices. So I've seen that commercial. I don't know, I guess a Jewish was supposed to cover me. I'm not Jewish. So I know there was no white and there was no Christian. So I'm looking at that commercial going, you know, they had a good message, but they fell short. Why they fall short? Because they was worried about backlash. And when we sit there and have to worry about backlash, we can no longer tell the truth. Because we're going to hide the truth, but we're worried about we might upset somebody. I'm sure as calm and neutral as I try to make my workouts, I'm sure some people get upset about it. Okay, it's your right. You know, you want to call me out and say I'm on drugs, that's your right to do so. I'm not. You want to say I'm on TRT, that's your right to do so. I'm not. You don't see me lashing back at you and calling you evil. Uh, saying it's fake weights, that's your right to say so. They're not. Got over 400 videos and probably seven, eight different gyms. Me doing the same thing. I'm ranked in openpowerlifting.org. You know, 
fourth in the world. <laughs> Tied for fourth, folks. I am what I say I am. But if you want to sit there and have an opinion, I support that. I may not agree with it, but I'm okay with it. It doesn't offend me. You know, you have limited yourself to learning something. Especially when a lot of you didn't do any research. And I will have other subscribers get on and going, you know, like, you know, dude, you can look them up. He's the real deal. But, you know, do we get the truth anymore? Is the news truth? I don't think so. You know, uh, what you see on the internet, is it truth? Not very much of it. You know, my son, he'd uh, seen something, said, oh, he told him, uh, you know, so-and-so was caught associating with these people. My wife told me that, and I said, I, I doubt that is true. So I went through the flow chart. You know, news. Does it sound like shit? Yes, it is. Does it sound like shit? No. Are you sure? No, it is. So I had to miss this. Do some research. And it was false. It was already debunked. And I had her send it to the sun. Do it because I once fell for the same thing. I seen somebody post something about a certain chain was using a certain thing in their meat and I I shared it without double checking it. And my cousin called me out on it. He says, John, that's not true. You shouldn't be sharing this. So I went and researched it. It wasn't true. So I'm like, yeah. Shame on me for doing it the first time. If I do it the second time, do you believe me? Shame on you. So falls under trust but verify let's go to part four